aero components are off the helmet. I've got 155 to beat. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk you through the Bolle, the one premium road helmet. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the, I would call them more minor features. It comes in a nice bag like this. It uh, comes with a visor for mud, rain, if you just like visors. It's got a, like a winter um, style warmer. Stick it on and then on you go. You've got you know, nice little ear warmers there as well. But in case you do come off, uh, there's a QR code which basically you know enables somebody with an iPhone that can scan a QR to quickly identify who you are and any contact information that you might want to put in there. There's something called the Sunglass Garage which I think is actually a pretty cool feature. Now I've got a set of Bolle glasses here goes in there very snug you know when you do that with other helmets quite often you know it pops out if we look to the rear of the helmet there's a light sort of like a touch technology so if I just touch it there then it's on like a full beam and if I touch it again oops oh, there we go it goes into flash mode now, there's a lot of agility I'd say with the straps um, under here you'll see on the side here these straps are very easy to maneuver up and down and get them in the right spot Clip. now the other thing about the bolle is removable aero shells which is this shell here and this shell here it's a 31 hole ventilation system with the bolle go from aero to there you go so you can see there you can see your 31 ventilations Rossi, get up. <laughs> I believe one of the more pronounced or eye-catching features on the Bolle is the aerodynamic shells. With the aero shells on in comparison to them off, I would actually ride faster. So let's take a look. So I'm standing at quite a well-known intersection if you're a Melbourne cyclist from the corner of uh, Hampton Street Beach Road and I've got my Bolle helmet on and I want to do a test and see if this aero component here actually has an impact on your speed. So I'm going to ride from the corner of this intersection, gather some speed, head down this way, not in the bush but, there's, but where Beach Road continues and when I hit 350 watts at momentum I'm going to do about a 1k sort of effort and see how long it takes me with this aero vent and then I'm going to take this aero vent off, make the helmet less aerodynamic and see if it has any impact. So I just finished my first segment with the aerodynamic version of the Bolle and I've uh, concluded 1.1 k's, average 359 watts and ride time 1 minute 55. Aero components are off the helmet, I've got 155 to beat. So just finished my second effort. I've done pretty much the average power that I did before, which is 3.55. My ride time was one minute 56. So the aero components to the Bolle over the course of, granted it's small 1.1 kilometers, is one second. Features aside, helmets are ultimately designed to protect your noggin. What we want to do next is perform a little test to see how robust when there's a lot of force applied to the helmet. So I went shopping earlier with my seven year old at his school holidays here in Melbourne. Let's take a look at that. Go across the road. Look up item alphabetically. And we found the perfect fruit head. When there is a lot of force applied to the helmet, what is going to happen to this melon? Let's take a look. So here we are at the testing ground, my local park. I've got the melon, I've got the helmet, and we're going to essentially see if the
the melon can survive a shot put throw with the helmet against this wall over there. And I've brought my brother-in-law and bike chaser co-founder, Jonas, to adjudicate. You're going to adjudicate for me, aren't you, Jonas? I will, I will. But can you tell us a bit more about what you're going to do first? Yep, sure. First of all, you probably should know that I used to be a schoolboy shot put champion. So oh, what we're wow. going to do, I'm also the 10-hour cyclist on Instagram. So what we're going to do is from 10 feet, we're going to measure from the wall, which is over there. You're going to have to just stand back here so yep, people can sorry. see the wall. There you go. Get the wall's over picture. there. 10 feet. Um, we're going to put some sticks on the ground. So we've got the measurement. You're going to adjudicate to make sure I don't go over the sticks. And I'm going to essentially put this here and line it up and throw it against the wall as hard as I possibly can. Uh, we're going to strap the bolet up and we're going to see if the bolet survives, i.e. does it crack? And we're going to see if the melon survives, does it shatter or does it stay in one? So what do you reckon about that, Jonas? Sounds pretty good, but actually, I have another idea. Cause oh, where'd you get that from, mate? Eh? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. didn't even see it. It was there. right there on the ground, <laughs> yeah. We have a second melon, and I think we should try and throw this against the wall as well to yeah. see what happens to a melon that's not covered by a helmet. Yeah. So let's do that first. Okay. I think my melon's bigger than yours, though. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> I reckon I can throw it harder. So okay. Let's see. All right. Let's go. It's a bit go. of a dual competition. I'll throw this one. You throw that. Yeah. You're going to shot put it though. I'm shot putting. You're shot putting too. Yeah. Well, okay. You'll okay. have to teach me how to shot put. Okay. <laughs> Can the bolet do a better job? Than, oh, look at all the juice. Whoa. You've really got it. You don't want to have that happen to your head. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. So let's see what the bolet does. Okay, so I should say that this helmet is owned by Bolet Australia. So we want to be as gentle to it as we can. So I'm just going to remove the aero vents. Get the, get the adjustable hugging the on. There so you go. It did get a crack down the It did middle. get a crack, but it stayed together, which is pretty good when you consider this is fruit and it doesn't have a skull. Yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon the bolo's done a pretty good job there. Absolutely. What happened to the helmet? Well, the helmet's just got a little bit of a mark inside of the helmet. You'll see we've um, we've got a crack. I think, I think if we're going to give it two ticks we'll definitely give it a tick from the melon perspective but yep. we've definitely done the job on the bolet but what's the most important thing with a helmet protecting your head your melon your yeah. head so <laughs> thumbs up well now to wrap up this helmet comes at a really affordable price point particularly for a high quality helmet of around 260 dollars aud you've got great versatility you've got a lot of safety features and ultimately it's a robust helmet which is protecting one of the most important parts of your body.